A political earthquake is brewing that could dramatically reshape Canada's leadership within months. A petition calling for a vote of no confidence to remove Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has exploded, amassing over 60,000 signatures in just four days. With the deadline still weeks away, all signs point to an avalanche of potentially millions of Canadians demanding Trudeau's ouster. The swelling rejection of Trudeau's leadership reveals his grip on power is far more unstable than many realized. The momentum driving this petition forward means we may soon witness the downfall of Trudeau's government at the hands of citizens utilizing a democratic tool to drive change. The torrent of signatures rising by the hour suggests a reckoning is coming for Trudeau as it demonstrates that Canadians want Trudeau gone immediately, not years down the road. Once the deadline passes, this petition is set to be formally discussed in the House of Commons, likely leading to a historic confidence vote on Trudeau's future. His political fate now lies in the hands of the Canadian people themselves. Welcome back to Street Politics Canada. An interesting political development lies in wait as a petition calling for a vote of no confidence against Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has now gathered over 60,000 signatures. The petition lays out reasons why many Canadians have lost faith in Trudeau's leadership and his Liberal NDP coalition government. It argues that their policies and actions need to align with the interests of average Canadians who are facing major problems like skyrocketing housing costs. The petitioners state that Canadians are struggling with record inflation, which has left them with less purchasing power. They also suggest the government's approach to immigration and taxation is leaving some people behind. On top of this, they accuse the government of weakening our economy by importing resources we already have instead of supporting domestic industry. After multiple ethics investigations and damage to our international reputation under Trudeau, the petitioners believe it's time for change. They are calling for our House of Commons to hold a vote of no confidence and trigger an election 45 days later if it passes. This petition reflects a growing dissatisfaction with Trudeau's policies and his inability to address major economic and social challenges facing average Canadians. For example, the petition criticizes rising housing costs that have made owning a home unaffordable for many in the middle class. The lack of affordability threatens both younger Canadians hoping to enter the market and older Canadians relying on home equity. Additionally, the petition highlights record high inflation that has greatly reduced people's purchasing power. Inflation has emerged as a major pocketbook issue hitting Canadians hard, while much of the inflationary pressure originates globally. In order for the petition to be submitted to the House of Commons, the petitioners first had to gather at least five supporters. After gathering the required minimum of five supporters for their petition, the petitioners next had to find a member of parliament to sponsor it in order to proceed. The MP would have 30 days to decide whether to authorize the petition's publication online. The petitioners ultimately secured Conservative MP Michelle Ferreri, who represents the riding of Peterborough Kawartha, as the authorizing sponsor. Ferreri made the decision within the 30-day window to authorize the publication of the petition, calling for a vote of no confidence against Trudeau. After securing an authorizing MP, the petition was examined by the Clerk of Petitions. The Clerk validated that the petition met the House of Commons requirements in terms of form and content. With the clerk's approval, the petition was published online for the general public to sign. It remains open for signatures for a period of time determined by the petitioners, in this case 30 days. They also had to gather a minimum of 500 valid signatures from Canadian citizens and residents to proceed. The petition was launched on November 24, 2023, and in just four days, it has garnered over 60,000 signatures, a number that continues to rise rapidly. With the deadline for signatures set for December 24th, the petition seems poised to amass hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of signatures from Canadian citizens and residents calling for a vote of no confidence. In a relatively short window, the petition has already drawn substantial support from a sizable portion of the Canadian electorate. The rapid growth in signatures indicates the petition is tapping into widespread frustration among everyday Canadians who feel let down by the Trudeau government on issues like inflation, housing affordability, civil liberties, and more. This sentiment has mobilized people across the country to take the exceptional step of signing a petition to remove the government from power. The momentum behind this petition reveals cracks in its popularity. The sheer speed at which signatures are pouring in reflects a population urgently demanding change from its leadership. With a month still remaining and signatures rising exponentially, it seems likely this petition will deliver a loud rebuke to Trudeau in the form of possibly millions of names. This groundswell could force a vote of no confidence when the new parliamentary session begins and topple the government within months. The petition underscores the precariousness of Trudeau's grip on power. Once the petition is formally presented in the House of Commons, the government will have 45 calendar days to provide an official response. However, if the Trudeau government fails to respond within that time frame, it could face further political consequences. According to the rules, if the government does not respond within 45 days, the matter is automatically referred to the standing committee designated by the MP who presented the petition, in this case, Michel Ferreri. 
Within five sitting days of that referral, the chair of the committee must convene a meeting to address the government's lack of response. This requirement ensures the petition is not simply ignored and adds accountability for the government to reply formally. A failure to respond at all would likely be viewed as an arrogant dismissal of the huge number of citizens demanding change through their petition participation. If the petition is successful and a vote of no confidence is held, it could topple Trudeau's minority government. This would force him to resign as prime minister and likely trigger a snap election within months to choose a new government. With the liberal NDP coalition only holding a plurality of seats, the conservatives and other opposition parties could unite to defeat them. While votes of no confidence have only resulted in a change of government six times in Canadian history, this petition shows Trudeau's leadership faces substantial opposition, enough to potentially unseat him as prime minister if the opposition can continue this momentum. Votes of no confidence have played a pivotal role at key moments in Canada's parliamentary history. Six federal governments have been brought down by no confidence votes, Arthur Mayans in 1926, John Diefenbaker's in 1963, Pierre Trudeau's in 1974, Joe Clark's in 1979, Paul Martin's Liberals in 2005, and Stephen Harper's in 2011. Most recently, in 2011, Stephen Harper's conservative minority government was brought down when the opposition held him in contempt over failures to disclose details on proposed bills and plans. This triggered an election, allowing Harper to gain a majority. In 2005, Paul Martin's liberal government also fell due to a no-confidence vote stemming from the sponsorship scandal. The resulting election saw Harper's conservatives take power as Martin resigned as party leader. In 1974, Pierre Trudeau's minority liberal government was toppled by a no-confidence motion from the NDP related to wage and price controls. However, the triggered election allowed Trudeau to regain not just power, but a majority government. These examples demonstrate how confidence votes have repeatedly reshaped power in key moments. While risky, elections prompted by successful no-confidence votes gave leaders like Harper and Pierre Trudeau opportunities to gain stronger mandates. The potential vote facing Justin Trudeau shows the maneuver remains an important part of Parliament's ability to force accountability. The rapid momentum of this petition calling for Justin Trudeau's ouster makes clear that many Canadians have lost faith in him after years of policies that have failed to deliver on priorities like affordable housing. Trudeau has been unable to curb skyrocketing housing costs that have shut an entire generation out of the market despite making it a key pledge. His government's spending and monetary policies have also contributed majorly to inflation now eroding Canadians' purchasing power. Massive deficits under Trudeau have yet to resolve major issues for the middle class. His support for oil and gas phase-outs has hurt the key industry as well. After multiple ethics scandals and an increasingly autocratic style of governance, the petition reveals the electorate's frustration has reached a boiling point. Now, Canadians seem unwilling to wait until the scheduled 2025 election to see change in direction. The momentum of this petition demonstrates citizens have lost patience and want Trudeau removed from power immediately not years from now. After giving him years to address their concerns, this petition is a demand for a change in government without further delay. If you are a Canadian citizen who feels Trudeau has lost your confidence and wants to see a change in government, you can participate and make your voice heard by signing. You can find the link in the description below. As we mentioned in the video, the petition remains open for signatures until December 24, 2023. Well, that's all for now. Do you think Trudeau will be forced out of office? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also follow us on Twitter, where we post stuff we can't post on YouTube. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.